first things first though, expansion claims. I'm coming around the corner on this attic that I've been dying to um, explore. I just never did before because frankly we never owned it. I'm always leery of that, but um, check this vein out. Well, I was gonna say, I, I, I've never noticed that before. I also never bothered to explore this cut up here. Not only is it difficult to get to, but uh, it was previously not on our claims and I just never feel comfortable poking through somebody's personal or corporate mine. Um, however, that all changed after this expansion. That is ours and this adit is ours. There's a look at the tailings from the adit. So I'm gonna take you in that uh, here in the next couple minutes. I've got a, another 250 feet to go. Um, this is going to take you on a tour of a new adit that uh, we now own. I say new, it's it's new to us. Uh, part of the expansion claims grabbed it. That, by the way, is also new to us. Uh, not the subject of this video, but you, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but you can see workings all up here. The reason why I'm, that's tailings. This is tailings. So the reason why I'm so excited is if you look on a map, and I'll try to see if I can draw that out on a on a map, um, this lies in direct line to the Arantz, to the all the mines in the district, from the King Solomon to the Antimony King, all the way up to the Marguerite, Far South Marguerite and the Blue Eagle Group. And what what is interesting about it is we know that the trend runs north, uh, about two and a half miles. This is about a mile away from the Arantz. Now we know that it extends another mile south. Uh, actually, I'm probably mixing that up. This is probably the northern direction. But anyway, my point is we've gained at least another mile because that is the exact material. That's the same vein, same hanging wall that you see in the lower upper level of the Arantz. So uh, pretty significant. This particular adit, um, you look at the timbering, the cribbing up there. I mean, those are 12 inch by 12 inch rough sawn. I, it's hard to put a date on this, but look at the amount of wood and timber and effort they put into this uh, portal alone. Um, steel clad door. They obviously were concerned about security, so there's got to be something of value in here. Um, it's a pretty extensive cut on the same vein, if you look runs right up that hill so well let me just take you inside i i have never been beyond five feet in here so this will be a treat for me uh, and you first time i've actually explored it um not sure what usually when you see bags like this of white powdery substance and there's probably 20 or 30 of them there's actually some writing on the wall i'm not going to mess with it that almost looks like concrete um which would be nice, but no, it's it's not concrete. It's white powdery. It's probably, I, I don't know. I'm not going to guess. We'll do some testing and see what that is. Something used in the processing pallets of it were in here at one time. Maybe we'll, we'll get inside and see some cribbing, some stonework, and, and maybe it is concrete. We've got a lot of, um, I don't know if these are blasting caps. Um, there's an old uh, shelf probably for tools. There's again those 12 inch by 12 inch. Just looking to see if there's any writing. Also looking to see if there's any critters with no legs. <laughs> Pretty well constructed. That's interesting. Hmm. So I feel very secure in here that the timber's in uh, great shape. Uh, there's a lot of weight sitting on top of that. They're, they're bending a little bit. They're bowed just a, I don't know, half inch or so. Nothing that uh, would concern me, um, considering that you have all that rock uh, up on top. They did a great job in here. Uh, a couple of barrels. It's probably high grade. Except for that Coors Light can. <laughs> um, so that's probably what they're processing. Right off the bat. Let me get my headlamp on. 
right off the bat, um, I like what I see. Very reminiscent of the mines in the district. So I don't believe this was for anything different. You get that um, sulfur. Ooh, look at that. This is like plastic. What the heck is that? No idea. But anyway, what I was going to say is pretty, pretty reminiscent of what you see in the Arantz. Um, can't tell if that's antimony. Got some quartz stringers, which is a really good sign. We'll have to pull some material. There's a few inches of this, whatever it is. Watch my shoe. I mean, I go in about an inch, two inches. Very weird. But uh, that, look at those quartz stringers. Um, two inch, three inches thick up there. There's a drill hole so you can see how they cut. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to say this is a lot more extensive than I thought. I'm in a good solid eight foot tall, probably eight foot wide, maybe even wider um, tunnel, all cut on hard rock. No timbering in here. A little bit of a rock fall, some sloughage right there. Look at, here we go with the heavy sulfur. Very good sign for antimony. So I'd say we're looking at a uh, high grade right there. That black, almost graphite looking, bluish, bluish black. I'm gonna bet it's high grade. Don't have the XRF with me, but I'll pull um I'll pull a few pieces and we'll shoot that and keep you posted. Oh, check that out. Okay, I guess that's just more quartz. Now we're opening up to close to 10 feet. Beautiful colors in here. There's some loose material down, but I don't see anything that uh, would worry me. A lot of iron staining in here. Um, pretty typical for anything on the Carlin trend. You, you uh, now, I'll bet you're going to have good gold and good silver numbers in here. Hmm. That might be the end. Yep, there we go. High grade, thick stringers or antimony. I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, that looks familiar. That's because it's it's literally the same exact um, type of stringers you see in both the upper and lower level of Rance, which again is a mile from here. So all indications are that this trend continues through the entire valley, which bodes really well. <laughs> Obviously, since since we own the valley, look at the color right there. Wow. Oh, jeez. That is even better than the Arantz. Okay, I'll pull some of that material. That is the end. I want to say we're, we're only, what, 50 feet in? 40, probably 40 feet, so maybe 50 foot total. Maybe, maybe 55 or 60. Opens up into a very large chamber in here, um, looking at 18 feet tall. Oh, probably 12 foot wide. More of that incredibly, that dark, rich antimony right there. Look at that. They hit a seam for sure. Why they didn't continue, unless it pinched out right here. I don't know why they started to open this up. Who knows? They, you know, this this could be 67 years old. This might have been a one-man operation, and uh, as typical with mines back then, maybe they were underfunded. Uh, 
one man, two man show and uh, always in search of money to continue the work and eventually the money runs out. This probably was a victim of the War Powers Act, just like the Iran's most likely was, um, meaning there was all kinds of money and uh, interest uh, in the 40s and 50s, obviously World War II, but after that, the money was in gold and silver and other precious metals, not anthem money. So that's likely what happened, but holy cow. See the, see the stringers up there? Um, same exact type of material, more of the, um, that yellow sulfur. Stringers running all the way back. You got that quartz, that quartz vein that you don't necessarily always see in the, in the Iran's or the Antimony Kings. So I'll have to pull some of this material in test, but Welcome. I'm not sure what to call this. I think um, uh, well, we'll call it the no-name mine for now and until uh, somebody who's a better researcher than I am can see if they can actually locate an original name. May not have had one. That was not entirely uncommon. Um, so no-name mine um, now belongs to Mac. Incredible job. Um, further extending the district uh, beyond the Arantz, uh to the north. I said north. I said to the south, but it's actually to the north. There's a view again of that um, dark material. So this is a win. Uh, another 500 feet across Bernice Creek up that hill. Oh, is this tracked? No, I don't believe so. Another 500 feet across, and uh, it extends even further. So uh, great sign, great find. Now now part of the family, uh, the American Antimony family. So uh, very excited to show you this for the first time today. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I could spend all day in here.